Think about who you look up to when you were a little boy. Hopefully it was your father, but a lot of kids look up to superheroes. For me it was Spider-Man and later on it was Batman, but maybe for you it's Superman, Hulk or Iron Man or and so on. You dress up as your favorite superhero, you run around imitating his moves and you say their famous quotes. When you are a kid and your imagination is limitless, this all feels real. However, it's not. There comes a time when you grow up and realize that all these fictional characters do not represent reality and that it's time to learn real philosophy and build your own foundation in life. Unfortunately, many young men nowadays are stuck in the Sigma male movement, idolizing the characters that are not real and trying to replicate their life, which usually is not suitable for a good and healthy living. Actually, some of them still think that they are Batman. Are you good? The most recent video that I did about how Sigma males are ruining men gained a bit of a mixed response. Most people liked the video, but there were comments from people claiming that they are Sigma males and that I just had no idea what I was talking about. Again, the main idea for that video was that a lot of young men consume social media where they see these different Sigma style edits that do not provide any real information or philosophy and are there just to make different fictional characters lifestyles seem cool which then these young men try to replicate and uh, realize that in fact it doesn't work in reality and uh, or they just trying to do that as a way to cope for not taking responsibility for their own lives this can create the same ideology type thinking for men that radical feminism created for women today i want to go a little bit deeper into the process of thinking that occurs for men when they see a sigma style edit or a sigma male and feel extreme relatability to the character also i want to go into exact examples of sigma males that men see online now Say my name. First, we need to answer the question. Are Sigma males even real? A lot of commenters on my last video claim to be Sigma males. So how do you qualify to be one? Or what traits do you need to have in order to be one? According to dictionary.com, Sigma male is a slang term used in masculinist subcultures for a popular, successful, but highly independent and self-reliant man. Another term for a Sigma male is a lone wolf. A lone wolf is a person who prefers to live, act or work alone or independently of others, or another definition, a criminal who acts alone. Now, going on these definitions, there are definitely men in the real world who are like that, but people who call themselves Sigma males are thinking different things. For them, it's about this dark identity of being by themselves, not, not being able to adapt to the current world. And, thinking that they know more about how the world works and trying to improve but being unable to face their past and to learn how to socialize with people or get into a healthy relationship with a woman. Pretty much calling yourself a Sigma male means that you're creating this fantasy that you're this main movie character that the world is hurting and you hold on to this fantasy just to cope instead of actually enduring some of the suffering and trying to make your life less miserable. The men that people who call themselves Sigma compare to are actually TV show or movie characters that are not real and could not be real if tried to be replicated. So are Sigma males real? Could be. Are you a Sigma male? Most likely not. Let's now break down what characteristics young men find so relatable in Sigma male characters. The most prominent trait is the coolness element. The Sigma music, the editing style, what the Sigma male is doing or how he does it, what is the punchline, all of these elements combine into coolness. Kids and teenagers prefer something looking cool rather than getting to understand the thing and looking beyond its superficial glare. As an example, it's much harder to turn off your phone and go and read a book like Marcus Aurelius' Meditations instead of just scrolling to different Sigma style edits and watching a video about Walter White's from Breaking Bad's transformation. It's much easier to watch a 40 second video of a character portrayed by Ryan Gosling rejecting a woman and thinking how cool it would be to act in the same way instead of just realizing that if a woman rejects you, you don't need to 
act in the same way toward her and put her down but just accept it and uh, try to go and find another suitable partner. The second element that young men find so relatable in a sigma male archetype is the darkness of life. The darkness is usually depression and loneliness and a lot of people nowadays experience these things. It's okay to find beauty and relatability in a character who is battling a similar battle like you but there is a problem when your depression and isolation becomes a part of your personality. You see the Sigma male character thriving with these negative traits and think that you can do the same. In reality, depression and loneliness are crippling things that warp your understanding of reality and destroy your ability to integrate yourself into the real world. It's the lone wolf idolization. Many people nowadays are isolated and just being by themselves, watching porn, scrolling and playing video games. We do many activities nowadays that do not require human contact and we and I believe we suffer because of it. In reality, you need other people not only to satisfy your social needs, but to work together and build a better future. You may think that the success that the Sigma males characters often have just comes from themselves but in the reality there are lots of people at play who contributed or helped to for the sigma to reach that success. Let's take Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight trilogy as an example. At first glance it might seem that Batman is alone, self-reliant and solely protecting Gotham but in reality if we look at the big picture you see that Ra's al Ghul was the one who inspired to Bruce to find purpose again. It was Alfred who took care of Bruce uh, Wayne's father's legacy in the way that it get, it led the ability for Bruce to build the Batcave and uh, acquire the technology, have the finances for it and it was Jamie Foxx who developed these technologies, these gadgets and everything that helped Batman become who he was and so on. We need people just as much as people need us and 100% self-reliance is a fantasy, a fantasy that people who claim to be Sigma males are holding on to. Another side of the depression and loneliness or the darkness of the Sigma male is what they do. This goes hand in hand with the coolness element. We see Sigma male characters living dangerous lifestyles that often involve illegal activities. All of us have some dark fantasies inside of us and when we see those fantasies being fulfilled, especially by a character we relate to, it often ends up in the attachment to that character and the desire to act in the same way that the character is acting. Fortunately, most of us don't try to replicate that type of lifestyle as it's not just about appearing cool, but for some, some young men it's about this fantasy fulfillment, it's a source for this fantasy fulfillment that lets them escape the pain that they experience in their own lives. The third element is the physical appearance and style of the Sigma male character. This again goes with the coolness aspect. Oppenheimer walks around in a cool suit and a hat, the driver from the movie Drive by Ryan Gosling walks around with a cool jacket but appears himself calm but dangerous, Thomas Shelby walks around smoking a cigarette, yet another stylish appearance and is also able to commit dangerous acts. The outer style and appearance goes a long way in order to ensure that the character is memorable and to be idolized and that works extremely well for young men. Yet another fantasy fulfillment element is the hidden success of the Sigma male. Since a lot of Sigma male characters commit illegal activities or immoral activities, they often need to reap their rewards in silence and shadows. Nobody seems to notice how influential or powerful a Sigma male character is until it is revealed in a cool way. This mystery is another thing that captures the attention of young men. Being outside of the social rules but still having the influence and power seems very cool but again the point here is missed. We as viewers see the characters on screen acting in this way or acting cool and but in reality if we as viewers wouldn't be there the, the man, the character would be invisible. Nobody would be looking at you and nobody would notice your cool moments. You still want others to notice your work and achievements but you convince yourself that the Sigma male way is better whilst subconsciously you still crave to be noticed. In conclusion, kids often idolize superheroes like Spider-Man or Batman, but as they grow up, they, they should focus on real philosophy and personal growth. Similarly, the Sigma male movement characterized by idolizing fictional characters that live detached and independent lives 
should not be an, al an alternative to healthy and wise living. With this video, I wanted to emphasize that although there are individuals with similar traits to Sigma males, most self-identifying sigma males do not actually represent the archetype. Young men are drawn to sigma male characters because of the coolness of the dark attributes, physical appearance, hidden success, and the appeal of isolation. Sigma male identifying men need to understand the difference between on-screen portrayals and the realities of personal growth, of relationship building and societal integration. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to join our Discord community aimed for men to help them improve, you can do that by going into the description or the comments down below. If you haven't watched my last video about how Sigma males are ruining men, you can watch that by clicking the link right now on the top right corner of the screen and uh, or going to the description. Thank you again for watching and remember, meaning is always above pleasure.